G'day, I'm Reg. And I'm Sam. And we are SAR Adventures. <laughs> <laughs> Morning everybody. Morning. Today is the 31st of July and we are at Devil's Marbles. We're staying in a, a um, national park. Yeah. But yeah, we'll talk about that one time. Today yeah. we're talking about Cobbold Gorge. It was great. So we stayed in Georgetown as you know and while we were in Georgetown we went off and did different things and one of those things was Cobbold Gorge. First thing I'll say about it is if you are planning on going pre-book, oh, yes. if, if you can because it was busy and booked out we just happened to get in a, in a slot Yeah. for both the big outings we did while we yeah. were there. Yeah well yeah, absolutely, absolutely book, you know like it was uh, weeks the waiting mm. list. Yep. It was weeks. So. And there, there is accommodation there, and you can stay there, but we chose to stay in Georgetown and travel because we had other things to do. So. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So yeah, we went to Coral Gorge. <laughs> gone. It was. What well, was about a hundred. It was about an hour and a half yeah, from about Georgetown. 100, about 110 k's it was from Georgetown. Town, some delightful corrugation. Quite, yeah. When we got there, you know, obviously it's a, it's a tourist attraction, so they, they have, you know, their gift shop, and so um, Sam bought me, Sam bought me a genuine kangaroo leather, well, howdy, partner, <laughs> cowboy hat, because <laughs> you've got to, I mean, you've got to, like, you know, you're doing the tour, so you've, you've got to get the hat, and, um, and, got a cobalt gorge yeah a long shirt. sleeve shirt so, same as this but it was cobalt like or similar shirt. to this but it was a cobalt yeah cobalt gorge i don't have shirt. any long sleeve shirts for this trip um and so i need one for sun protection basically yeah so yeah so we we bought that before the before we, we before we off. did the tour yeah so from the um when we get there um there would have been about 60 of us oh that's anyway. Yeah, um, a lot of people. But it was broken up into five groups of 12. Um, each group had their own guide. Each group had their own bus. So, you know, obviously they go as uh, a little bit of a safety briefing, introduce themselves, like the, the five guides that we had. Um, we got Graham. He was just, he was just awesome. So, like, Cobalt Gorge, if you ever watch this, Graham, mate, you were just <laughs> magic. Mm. Yeah. Your, your knowledge was of the um, the flora and the fauna that was around mm. was just excellent. So from from um, there we all got on, like in our groups, we hopped onto um, our selected bus um, and then drove down to uh, the hut or something they call it, the shed. The shelter? The shelter, something, yeah, something like that. This big, big, big shed. Um, and then from there, uh, in our groups, we we broke off to do um, the tour. So two of the groups did the um, pontoon ride up through the gorge first, and three of the groups, which our group was one of them, uh, we did the walk first. Graham was explaining that um, during the wet season, because there's so much uh, so much water runs through that gorge, um, that it has to close during the wet season and um they've got this uh like flying fox system where mm. they pull up all their pontoons um their walkways uh they just pull it all up pack it up into uh the shelter during the wet season and then and then set it all back up for the start of the tourist season which is the dry so and then we started the walk another shout out uh to cobalt gorge you know like um they had lovely um, like platform walkways. Mm. People with um, low to moderate, um, I think is what they said, low to moderate fitness, fitness. level mm. um, can can do the walk quite comfortably. It was it's about not pram or wheelchair accessible. No, no, there were some parts, and you'll see in the video, there's some parts where um, you know you're sort of squeezing through 
um, like two two big ass boulders. And then climbing over. The and, rocks yeah, and climbing and over like rocks. Um, as uh, most people that know me um, know that I have a a genuine fear of heights. However, in saying that, um, I didn't I didn't have that fear while we were following like these platforms um and then of course the the beautiful glass bottom uh bridge that goes over the gorge um yeah we walked we walked down um and onto this onto this big um pontoon pontoon platform bridge which was just it was just beautiful because you're walking through um the lowest point of the gorge across the, um, the actual river yeah it was it's just so hard to describe the beauty of of you know just even just standing on that pontoon mm. bridge and taking in um the landscape it was just amazing so we're crossing this pontoon and i don't do water very well so i was fine crossing it not thinking about it and then we get to the other side and he was telling us about how deep it actually is under that floating. Yeah. And you had said how somebody had kicked off um, like the anchor and he'd pulled off a, went up and pulled off a big stick off a tree or something like 10 foot or something. He was saying he was trying yeah. to reach down and it's actually a four meter drop right off the side of the yeah. pontoon. But then he was also saying how another lady on a tour had taken her shoes off and put her feet over the edge to cool off. And she saw on the side of the um, bank, like the reeds, and she thought that was the bottom. So she went to stand on it and just went straight down. He said all he could hear was her screaming, help, help. And yeah, they had to rescue her out of there. But it was a four meter to the bottom. And so that freaked me out a little bit. But at that point, we'd already crossed over. Yeah. <laughs> so that was fine. So they're from that, from that pontoon um, bridge, you sort of meander along um, a, a reasonably narrow kind of a path um, and again you know good on them for trying to for trying to keep the the impact on the on the vegetation uh, limited uh, but you would follow this like little meandering path along um, and then it would open up into sort of like a, a roundish kind of area and then you know Graham would talk about the different types of trees mm -hmm. that were in there He'd pull off some leaves and break them up and and you know um so we like smelt some aniseed oh. aniseed tree and that I you tried to use as a perfume i rubbed it on my wrists <laughs> it smelt so good um and i have been trying to find it ever since and do you think i can remember the name of it nope so i'll have to google it but yeah no it was um and and um, these other trees again um, I can't remember the names of them but there was trees where um, like the indigenous people the aboriginals um, would throw the leaves into a pond and it was uh, um, uh, like a form of chloroform, chloroform or it would put the, the fish oh, inside right. the water it would put them to sleep and they would just float to the top <laughs> and then they just scoop the, <laughs> scoop the fish out and then there was another tree that he pointed out which was the soap tree mm -hmm. um, which again you would just um, uh, leaves, yeah you broke leaves you, you crushed you crushed up the leaves in, in the water and and it formed a it formed a soap it, it sudded up and and so yeah Graham was just was just brilliant mm. with with all the different um flora that he was pointing out we sl slowly followed this path up in a gradual climb um mm. until we got to uh the top of the gorge it wasn't a hard climb by any means no, like i no. wasn't puffed i was red because it was hot but um people it... with people with um like for example um bernard so people who i would i would say yeah people aids. people that have a have walking aids like canes and that i, I would say that Bern, bernard would be able to do it or yeah people with canes would be able to do it yeah of course just steady just yeah take their time um there was a an old lady that was in front of us and and you'll see her in the video um she had um probably a worse fear of heights than what i do <laughs> and 
and you know, like I was, I was a little bit concerned for her because, like, even just some of the the rocks, the rocks that we were walking yeah. along, she was kind of like, "Wow, you know, I'm, I'm, you know." And there was um, her husband who was, you know, helping her along the rocks and that. And then we we got up to this platform, and uh, Graham was handing out these little. Um, they're like the like the the blue. Uh, overshoe shoes. that hospitals use and, and you know you see surgeons and that and they slip them over the top of their shoes so we all had to put them over our over our runners or over our shoes and then um, walked out onto the the glass bottom uh, bridge mm. they went across the gorge and that was mainly to prevent um, scratching or damage done to the glass oh, it was just magnificent it was it was just so spectacular, you know, like being able to stand, you know, right in the center mm. of this gorge. Um, because like, you know, all the gorges that we've been to so far, you've, you're kind of sort of on the edge, but not, not that close that there's the chance that you're going to fall, yeah. but, and then trying to take in, take in the gorge from sort of that edge, but to be able to stand right in the middle of the gorge, um, and get a, no, a bird's eye view. A bird's eye view. Basically. Of of it was just it was just beautiful. Beautiful. I just loved it. Mm. And they um Cobalt Gorge do 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 um helicopter flights too, so you yes. can get an actual bird's eye view. Yeah. And they were running like every fifteen yeah. minutes. They yeah, were the, the, the um I, I I overheard um while we were waiting to check in for the tour I overheard a couple in front of us they were talking to the receptionist and, and they were booking a flight and and I heard them I heard them say that it was two hundred and two hundred and sixty five dollars for the two of them mm. for a fifteen minute flight. Yeah I think it was two sixty five like but but that was a discounted rate and I don't know if it was discounted because they were staying at the park or because they were part of some some group mm. tour, I, I I don't honestly know. If I find out some information, I'll put it down here or the website. I'll, I'll put the website down below, and you guys can go check it out for yourselves. But, but yeah, they were running for like it's a three hour tour, and they were running for the whole three hours mm. that that we were on the tour. Yeah, it was um, it was incredible. So um, obviously, because they have a helipad and because they have helicopters, there's just like no drones allowed whatsoever. Um, Unfortunately, we've found that to be the case in a lot of places. Uh, uh, yeah, so a lot far. of places. You know, like so, and then because once you once we cross the glass bottom um, bridge of the gorge, uh, then you sort of meander um, around around the other side of the gorge, coming down, and you end and you um, end up back at the pontoon bridge. Mm. There was a part where we, he was talking about how, because um, it was quite hot and we were standing in full yeah. sun for all the time, and then we walked in between. Um, yeah, down, down in, down in, yeah. And um, he said to us, "Touch the quartz," and it was nice and cool. Like I wanted to put my face on the wall. It was beautiful. But yeah. Yeah, but you could feel it. You could. You feel you the could feel the temperature yeah, change mm, from. It was lovely. Yeah, as soon as you sort of got in amongst. Um, like all the cracks and the boulders mm. of the gorge, you could feel the temperature drop. It was, yeah, it was just, it was just lovely. And once we, once we get back down to the pontoon bridge, um, and you'll see in the video, there's, there's these little, um, flat bottom, um, electric motor boats. Um, I don't know if you can call them boats, but okay. <laughs> Yeah, they were, yeah, they were basically... They were um, boats, but they were floating. Yeah. Floating seats. Yeah, that's, yeah that was pretty much it. I, did, I didn't... I mean, I enjoyed the ride, don't get me wrong, but um, I, I didn't I didn't feel very safe. Obviously, because they're, because they're flat bottom, 12 and 12 adults were hopping onto it, um, and you've got uh, Graham, who was down the back at where the motor is, He's, he also sits on one side of the boat, and... Everybody sort of had to had to break up and sit on either side of the boat. But then, as soon as somebody sort of moved, you could feel the 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 change or the the difference yeah, the in the weight on the yeah. on the sides. 
and the boat would sort of lean over a bit and and because like Sam and there were some others that were like ooh yeah, the lady I had the lady the, who doesn't like heights she doesn't like water either <laughs> <laughs> she was sitting next to me and we were freaking out together but um she was doing more to calm me than I was doing to help her <laughs> and and then you, you had know, to like, you got really close to the person in front of you too that poor guy who was sitting in front of me and I hadn't shaved my legs for like a week and his legs were in between mine and mine were in between his and yeah we got to know each other and then we do this we do this pontoon ride um or like boat ride or whatever you want to call it mm. um and we and then we have a look at the the gorge from the water level and mm. and it is probably just as spectacular as looking at it from above because the the rock formations were from the water level were different colors um just you could see like little um the water that was seeping down through the cracks in the rocks were almost forming um like droplet waterfalls mm. um and you know like all these little plants that were growing out through the cracks and unfortunately um the gopro would couldn't pick up the baby mm. the baby freshwater alligator that, or crocodile that we saw and like fully full length it was only about 30 centimeters i think it was even it may be a little bit longer than our hands like it yeah. wasn't that long at all yeah probably about probably about that long well, yeah about 30 centimeters yeah okay including its tail yeah I took a photo of it. It was and right, sitting right there on the bank. And because, and you know, these pontoon things or these boat things that we were traveling on are, are just electric motors. They're nice and quiet. Mm. So um, Graham was, was able to get us, like, pretty much Close almost you could reach yeah. out. Like, the people on that side of the boat could mm. almost reach out and grab the thing if they wanted to, I mm -hmm. think. We were that close to it. But also, um, because it was so well camouflaged, with its yeah. um, with its surroundings, the the GoPro couldn't couldn't pick up. Uh, I mean, I could I was, zoom in, but it was very blurry. So I yeah. took photos anyway. But um, I put the photos in instead. And then um, and then a little bit, probably another five minutes, ten minutes down the down the gorge. Yep. We came across one that was a little bit better. It was probably maybe one, maybe a meter long, mm -hmm. but only again only a, only, only just a, little, a baby. Youngin. Um. So just excited. lying, just lying on this little bank in the in the little bit of sun that that the gorge got. It was just taken in the sun and didn't like didn't didn't give a rat's ass about us like putting past it and no. taking photos. Just lied there and um, stared at us. And then we just followed the followed the gorge all the way along mm. um, until where the I suppose the rock formations of the gorge had collapsed and um, and the and the end. boats couldn't the boats just couldn't go any further than that. Yeah, it was it, 60, 63 dollars each. Oof. Don't think there was a concession there. for Yeah, that no, one. there wasn't. So, um... I'll put the price. Yeah, but... Well worth it. Uh, we weren't going to do it. We, we, we wanted no, to do we it even, and then we, we saw the price. we even used the words, a gorge is a gorge, you know, we'll see <laughs> yeah, plenty, we'll see so... It. We're going to see plenty on our trip. Um, just, just because of the price of it. So I think I don't even know. If that was, I think it might have been more. No, I think. But if, anyway, like you said, you're going to put, put you're going to put the price down there. Yeah. Wow, worth every penny of it. It is just and you know like our like I I filmed the entire walk. Um, did a battery change and then and then and kept filming. I I filmed the entire boat ride. Um, and obviously you know we're going to shorten that down. Um, for the vlog, but it just does. It just does not do it justice. Even the pictures that I took, like I look at them and uh, they're pretty, but when we like the reflection off the water of the gorge as well. Yeah, it was. It was just stunning. Absolutely. If 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 you're out and you're traveling and um, it it, it, uh, it it has to be a sea. It, yeah, it's for a must sure. do. You know, it is. It was just look i have no doubts that probably you know when we hit um 
Catherine, yeah, the Catherine Gorge good. and that yeah. would probably go, oh, you know, like Kybold was rubbish. <laughs> but I mean, at this stage, yeah. you know, like the Miller Miller Falls to me is still the best falls that we saw at Cairns. Cobalt Gorge so far is the best gorge that, that you know, the, in my opinion, the best gorge that we've seen so far. It was just, just magnificent. I and think the, we went at the right time of day too. Yeah, yeah. So we did the 1.30 in the afternoon. So we um, saw sort of the sun coming down and just a, yeah, the light well, the, coming the, in the gorge. The last, the last tour group is at 4 p.m. Mm. And, the, and they say that that is a really good one because you're kind of getting the setting sun. Mm. going down through the gorge um and there's one apparently there's one at like 7 a.m as yeah, well so and they, and they would get the rising sun coming up through the gorge so um but yeah no i think i think that when we went was a was a excellent excellent time yeah beautiful i would even Just. go as far to say it was magnificent yeah magnificent <laughs> it was yeah so that was Cobalt Gorge. Oh, shout out to uh, a couple that was camped with us at... Yeah, um, Ainsley. Ainsley, yeah, they were camped with us at Ainsley and then they left and went to um, Forsyth yep. and we left and went to Georgetown and they were on the same the same tour as us yep. and, and in the same group the same as us. Group so group got stuck with us So if day. you're watching a video, um, hi. <laughs> um, pleasure to meet you. Yeah. And so that's about it. Yep, and that's then, and then we gorge. And then we drove home. We did. Yeah. I will put a little thing in here about the caravan park. Oh, yes. So uh, we stayed at the Goldfield Vans Park, I think it was yeah. called. Um, and they are, they do get very busy, so you do have to book in advance with them too. We just happened to turn up when so, and um, the day before and book in. Yeah, we went, we went to Georgetown. Just as a day a scenic, trip, yeah, we were yeah, just, just as a day trip out. because there was a few things there that, like the the mineral, the mm. mineral um, collection yep. or museum, Which Sam wanted to have a look at in the other video. That we yeah, so um, and we just went to Georgetown to do that, and then while we were there, I, I just said to Sam, I said, I'm just going to go in and see if there's any vacancies, if they got any vacancies. So, uh, and as it turned out, that they did. They had somebody leaving that yeah. day, so the next day, so we were like, book us in. Yeah, so... Um, and we didn't do any of the tourist things, we went back. <laughs> but yeah, so I just wanted to say um, a shout out to that van park too, because they had the best amenities block that I have ever seen in my whole life. Yeah. I'm going to go as far as to say that, even when Beautiful, camping Beautiful, great kids. big showers. Oh, it was all, it was like brand new, it was yeah. like showering at home, it was all tiled, they were always clean. Um, 10 out of 10 for their amenity. The camp kitchen was lovely, not that we used it, but they had a big camp kitchen there as well. But even the park itself, you know, like... Um, green grass. Yeah, it's... Shady trees. Whew. Somewhere you can wash your car. Yep, yep, they had a, they had a, um, a bay there where um, you could take your car over or, and, um, and, and give your car a, a bath, which is what I did. Um, mm. But they also... Um, they also said that you know, like if you wanted to, you could just um, like they told me when I asked them about washing my car if, if it was all right, and, and they told me about the washing bay, or they just said because uh, where we were parked, there was an area where there was no parking right beside us, there was no campsites right beside us. So and the lady just said, oh, you know, if you wanted, you can just park your car there on the grass and wash it there. So I was like, yeah, wow, well, that's cool. So um, and there was people there that you know. Um, broke out the broom and the bucket and they were washing their vans while yeah. they were there so it was, it was look it was a great park and the yeah. people um like there was no um every day um sometimes twice a day the coppers drove through but it was just a drive through yeah um, just keeping an eye on the place uh, we didn't have any issues no we didn't hear of any issues no no it was a uh, uh, and the and the, like i said the people around us were just Oh, we met well, some great excellent. people. Yeah, some just great excellent. people there. Yeah. Um, and was it the cat lady? The cat lady. Yeah. Listen, and her and her partner. We didn't get your name, and I've no. seen your comment, so I have to double check because her name's probably in the comments. But um, yeah, they were great, and they gave us some tips. But yeah, they were great. It was nice to meet you, and um, thank you for following. Thank you. Yeah, for absolutely. Watching absolutely. our videos and commenting, we appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, that's it. So that's it for this video.
Yeah, the next one is um, the Undara lava tubes. Yes. So. So give us a like. And subscribe. <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one. Bye. But we'll talk about that in another video. <laughs> yeah, so I can't understand why you're doing that because we're going to be talking about cobalt. And... Yeah, but they'll see it. So we've got to oh, tell okay. them where we are. We always yeah, tell yeah, them where we're true. staying. Yeah, and the Andara no. lava tube. No. Just co cobalt gold. Okay. But the Andara in another video. Oh, all right. Okay. <laughs> Let's do that again. Today we're going to be talking about Cobalt Gorge. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, God, Pardon me. Sorry, the toilet just came across. But, um, 